Come by guys. I'm going live in three, two. Audio ni lele. this webinars yeah. is uh, whether artists are really affected by COVID. Are you, are you affected by COVID? I'm, I'm affected. And that's why I've actually gone back to my practice mm -hmm. because akuna shows, akuna kitu unazafanya. So I, I'm lucky enough to have a practice that I had left before. So I nimerudi sasa kudu job. So hezi ni kitoka hapa and I end a job kuangalia clinic yangu kakuna watu because it's, that's where we are right now. I can imagine the upcoming artists, the artists who only depend on shows, uh, people who don't understand that you, you must have uh, uh, pillars of income in, in mm. you being an artist. It's, it's hard eating to, to the industry. Most people, you might have the craft, but then you don't have means of putting and packaging your craft. Mm. So that's the, the biggest problem. When you say that artists are not uh, the ones who are making noise, it's not the artists. It's the only people who have been who have been caught uh, making noise are the CMOs, mm -hmm. and if you look at the noise that they were making about, it's something that is totally, first of all, illegal, because the money was is coming from uh, the sports fund, and they are in a minister in a different ministry of ICT, mm. and so how the, the sp before even the money was given out, the sports fund has been there, has been running. It is, should be beneficial to artists. 
and they have never made noise uh, before. Mm. The only time they started making noise is when the hundred million came came up. So to me, um, CMOs are not genuine in this. In in this, um, they are the ones who are making noise. They are making a noise not on behalf of artists because oh, wow. because us as artists and most of the artists that I know are very appreciative of what the government is doing. Mm. And it's not only because Atituna Pawakakitu, yes, not everybody will be touched, mm. but the ones who will be touched is something that will be uh, long. It's, it's, it, will, it will even go further than the COVID-19 period. And let me say this, the, co the, the sports fund, people need to understand how, how does it work, how mm. does it function, mm. who is it meant for? Mm. Um, and then when you answer that question, you also ask yourself, what are CMOs, what is the mandate of CMOs? To mm. collect and distribute royalties. There is nowhere that they are given the mandate to cushion artists. Atutaki kushoniwa, wewe tafute ile pesa me collect, first of all, to ambi how are you going to distribute it? We've mm. had problems with CMOs before, mm. and not to, me, I'm not bashing them. I'm just, nasikia uoga nikisikia mambo ya CMOs. Yes, there is a change, there's a good change, uh, management in terms of management, mm. but still the, the board of these CMOs are people that don't understand the industry. Mm. The other day, kulikuwa jama uh, CM, uh, chairman walikuwa K24. And I, as an artist, I said, this, these people are not representing me. Mm. Because first of all, they don't understand how the government works. They don't know their mandate. And they are busy in, on the television saying that artists are not appreciative. We are appreciative. The president has done a good thing for the industry. Uh, Amina and the, uh, Ambassador Amina and the whole team that has, is behind this, Mimina Sema Santa Sana, because this is something even personally I would have not thought about it to, in terms of distribution. Oh wow, that's that's interesting. It's great so, to I, I don't know that great, but in, interesting to hear an artist's perspective, uh, especially with the CMOs. Mm. Tell me, you mentioned a seed. Yes. You said that this money is a seed. Um, and, and, and I want to, you know, as we come to a close of this interview, I want, I want you to speak to that young artist who gets the opportunity with this money, who gets the seed. What advice would you give him of someone who has been in the industry for a while? What advice would you give him with this seed that he gets? That's uh, your camera there. Yeah, first of all, I'll just advise all, all artists. Um, I know times are hard, but a few of us or some of us will, will get a chance to be assisted by the government. My, my, my biggest um, nini will be, I would urge all the artists, anybody who gets this money, please make good use of the money. Uh, money. Create content that will last beyond COVID-19, uh, that we can be able to, to entertain us and uh, at the same time educate people. That way you can be able to get earnings even afterwards. Um, number two for me as uh, also, we need to educate people on their mandate. As an artist, as, as a CMO, as whatever branch of government you are in or outside government, you need to understand your mandate. We have a whole cycle of creatives. It's not only the artists, it's not the dancers, the vixens, um, like a man here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> many people benefit, the cameramen, the, video, the guys who do for us videos, many people benefit from this uh, art. How we present ourselves, and especially artists, people outside are looking at us. The, the people, remember when the government, when the president gave us the money, there was a lot of outcry from people. Mm. But how we conduct ourselves, we cannot be uh, people who complain, and when we are given a bread, uh, we start complaining, oh, whatever we complained about, the president listened to us, and he gave us something. Mm. Let us build something from this. And remember, the uh, sports fund is not dying tomorrow. It's something that has been there in the government. Mm. So it's something that we can always go back, even post uh, COVID-19, to be able to, to benefit from. Lastly, uh, we'll be talking to the Director General of the PPMC in a short while. That's a permanent presidential music commission. Uh, if you had a chance to you know, maybe make a, a, a request or, you know, uh, or, or even encourage him, or, or, or what, what would you want to tell the PPMC? PPMC, first of all, uh, I think they've done a good job in terms of rebranding. Mm -hmm. um, long time, we'll go ask PPMC, we have hey, what do you but I've, seen, uh, <laughs> but I've seen they've done uh, new songs, they, you know, they're incorporating young artists, they're doing, they're doing quite a good job. Mm -hmm. um, for me, as moving to the future, 
I think it's it, it's important for them to uh, stay relevant with the with the other artists, with more uh, general artists, so that it's not hard for us to to go and open their doors. Uh, it's easier, less use social media for us to be able to communicate. I think Ikuetu kitu kama artist ni raisi kwenda kwa PPMC. It's not like I'm, you know, the way you see inga ya ya government and you feel, hey, apo si mali kama mimi mtu na We should make it more. Um, easier for me as an artist to, to walk into their offices. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much, Francis Amisi, a.k.a. Frasha, a.k.a. King of the Vixens. Uh, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we've heard from the artists, and thank you for representing them very thank well. You, uh, we'll be taking a short, quick break, and after which I will have uh, Bernard Donald Otoyo come and explain how the PPMC will be part of, will be executing their part of this 100 million stimulus package. Don't move.
And if you're just joining us, welcome to Culture TV. We are this week breaking down the 100 million uh, stimulus package that the president, uh, His Excellency Uhuru Kenyatta, has given to musicians, actors, and artists. This week we have spoken to some of the state agencies that will be implementing this program. We have spoken to the National Museums of Kenya who represent the visual artists and they'll be doing 39 murals. We've spoken to the Kenya Film Commission who are representing the actors and other players in the film industry. We've spoken to the Kenya Cultural Center who are our hosts today and they have talked to us about the actors, the radio theater performers, uh, poets and spoken word artists. And today I am privileged and honored to be joined by Dr. Donald Otoyo who is the Director General of the Permanent Presidential Music Commission, and he will be talking to us about their part of implementing this uh, stimulus package because musicians were the first <laughs> to be mentioned. Bwana Otoyo, karibu. Asante sana. How are you? Very well. Are you well? Kabisa. You've had quite a week, right? Ah, uh, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> An amazing week. Uh, first, you know, I'd, I'd, like, I'd like you to introduce yourself. Uh, to Kenyans, because often we, you, don't, you don't get the opportunity to, to interact directly mm -hmm. with Kenyans. We see your work, mm -hmm. you know, especially during the national holidays and stuff like that, but we don't get to interact with you. Tell us a little about yourself. Um, myself as Donald or myself as... Both, yourself as Donald <laughs> uh, and yourself as, as, uh, in your role, in your role as, uh, mm. uh, in, with the Permanent Presidential mm. Music Commission. Mm. Thank you, Amani. Um, so I have a background in music. Okay. Um, my background is music. Um, I've been in the music industry for a long time. Okay. Um, I've been several sectors of the music industry, from the performing sector, um, which I go back to the early 90s when I started, uh, entered the industry as a pianist. Mm -hmm. uh, I used to play in the, in the hotel industry. Oh, you play keys? I play keys. Okay. Yeah. Graduated later after I could afford a saxophone. Uh -huh. <laughs> then I graduated to the saxophone. Oh, nice. So I also do play the saxophone, oh, wow. the clarinet, the flute. Oh. oh, wow. I also play a couple of African instruments as well. Okay. Yeah. Then I was lucky to also uh, be able to study music. Mm. So all my degrees are, are in music, uh, performance and music education. All my degrees. How many yes. are they? <laughs> just, just three. <laughs> just three. I have a question yeah. for you. Yes, please. What is a peripatetic music Feed teacher? from here. Uh, yeah. A peripatetic music teacher is a, is a teacher who goes into uh, the school please, please. to support the... Busy body, come out of your friend zone. Friend zone. Take your phone around, right, right, no be wrong, though. Wrong, though. Busy body, come out of your home ground. Home ground. Do the daddy dance, so your daddy's uncle. Do the daddy, do the daddy dance. Do the daddy, do the daddy dance. Shaku, shaku. Do the daddy, do the daddy dance. Do the daddy, do the daddy dance. Oh, you get your bunker. Do the daddy, do the daddy dance. Do the daddy, do the daddy dance. Pillow, uncle. You have quite the career in developing talent as well. Um, and just right across here also the Kenya Conservatory. Oh, as a Kenya Conservatory of Music, yes. I was talking to you know, the CEO just not too long ago who mm -hmm. uh, is an old friend of mine. Uh, mm -hmm. So you have this background in music as an artist yourself, yeah. as a person who has played, you said you played in, a, in, a, in hotels, which one was it? Um, I've, I've been Safari Park for over 10, 15 years. Okay. I've done uh, Fairview Hotel. Oh, wow. I've also done, I, I've, I don't think there's a hotel in this, in this city that has a piano that I haven't played in. Oh, wow. And in Mombasa as well. And in Mombasa. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so you're an artist, mm -hmm. and, and I think that gives you such credibility in this conversation. Mm -hmm. uh, but you're also a teacher of music, so you've developed uh, talent uh, and developed young talent when it comes to music. Uh, you're a, you, you have a doctorate mm -hmm. in uh, music education and performance. Yes. Uh, and, uh, and, and I've seen that you've done a lot of research work around music. Talk to me about your d role in the PPMC. Um, I moved into the Music Commission in 2016. Mm -hmm. And uh, since then we've been in a... Um, we've, we've, we've tried to rebrand the, the institution, mm -hmm. um, uh, trying to connect. There is one, one area that... Uh, I think Frasha uh, highlighted it uh, before. Um, th th there, there had been a disconnect between yeah. the, the, the commission yes. and the music industry. Yes. So we've been striving to bring that, that connection back. And I can confirm even to Frasha that today that uh, our doors are open for, for the musicians to come and interact with us. So we, we do work with musicians. Um, 
And part of our mandate, uh, like the first mandate for the commission, is to regulate, coordinate, mm. uh, and guide the music industry in this country. So you're a regulator for the music industry? Yes. Uh, you know, just to address mm -hmm. Frasha's question, mm -hmm. uh, I see here that your, your research areas is actually in popular culture, mm -hmm. in youth and the creative economy, mm -hmm. cul cultural and creative industries, and contemporary and popular music in Kenya. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to you know, just ask you, how do you plan to bring this research work that you've been doing mm -hmm. into the commission? Well, a lot of that is already uh, taking place. Okay. A lot of that is already taking place. Mm -hmm. If you look at the, the, the structures we have for the youth at the commission, um, we've created structures where we, we have free spaces mm -hmm. that uh, the youth can come in. Basically, not just the youth, but musicians can come in and access and be able to practice. Okay. Uh, we are able to link them with other musicians, prefer, uh, preferably those who are maybe at a slightly higher uh, level than, mm. the, uh, than them to come and mentor them. Okay. We are also able to mentor them ourselves okay. because we come from the same, same background. We are able to assess and see the needs that they, that they have. So we are able to plug in what we have from the research uh, straight into the, in, into the industry. We are able to address the gaps. Like um, if a lot of the musicians don't, don't understand that the, the talent that they have mm. and the, when they put into production, it only comes to about 10 to 20 percent of what the music industry needs. Mm. What the music, music industry needs after that is the 80 percent that they do not understand, which is the 80 percent of the music business. But the business, and itself. that's why we, we, we are trying now to turn that talent into uh, 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 an, uh, something that can put food on the table for the for the artist. So they can monetize that talent, teach them how to be able to link uh, from when they come from the studio, mm. when they have done that production. Mm. In fact, they should have that even before they go to the studio to produce mm. so that they're able to they understand their market, understand who their target audience is, uh, what is the population of that target audience, what are the likely uh, income coming from that target audience, and then prepare that, uh, package that, and be able to release that into the industry. So a lot of the people still focus only on the skill, mm. and they do not look at the music uh, business aspect of it. So we've been able to plug a lot uh, uh, into that, and also connect them even to uh, the markets that are beyond Kenya as well. Oh wow, yeah. if you're a musician, you just had a five minute masterclass on music business from, <laughs> do, from Dr. Don, and, and I, I think this is a resource that we need to tap into. Uh, and, and you know, create content that can help musicians also figure out and navigate the industry. Mm -hmm. But we were talking about your mandate. You said, mm -hmm. you know, first is, is there's a regulation, there's a mm -hmm. regulation mandate. Talk mm -hmm. to me about just generally about the mandate mm -hmm. of the of the PPMC. So we, we have that ma uh, mandate to regulate and coordinate the, the music the, industry. The, yes. So um, what we've been working on for the last two three years mm -hmm. at, the, at the commission is to try and align our music policy um, to to be able to address that that area. And it's only when you have a music, when you have a policy in government, mm. that now you can go on to start working on bills mm. and uh, see whether they, they'll be you needed know, for any other. And yes, bills to get together. To get, okay. So we are happy to say that the music bill is at a very high level. Okay. Uh, it's being uh, uh, debated by the the, the principal uh, secretaries at the okay. moment okay. before it goes to the cabinet secretaries, okay. and then it's it, it, uh, uh, later ascended to. So we hope that once we have the music uh, policy in place, mm. we should be able now to look whether we do need a music bill, mm. and if we have a music bill, what should it address? What are the, some of the gaps in the industry that mm. need to be uh, put under regulation? Mm. And then from there, we are able now to uh, step in and uh, even provide uh, better, better guidance. I'm, mm. I'm tempted to ask you about you know, the kind of participation that you've gotten from the music industry as you, as you have developed this policy right now. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because I think a lot of what we, we're hearing from the artist and from the CMOs mm -hmm. is about pa participation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, what level of participation is there? Has there been and is there available at this policy level for the for the for the document that's with the PSS? Um, there's been a lot of stakeholder participation. Okay. I joined the music policy uh, process mm -hmm. when it started in 2003. Okay. I was on that process okay. as an industry player. Oh, as a, as, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a musician? As a musician. Okay. All right? Yeah. I, I came into government and I found we still had a draft music policy. Mm. So it's something we've taken from okay. that okay. process. Mm. There's been a lot of stakeholder uh, negotiation, engagement. engagement. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, it's, 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 it's basically within government mechanisms. Yes. So once it goes through me government mechanisms, if there'll be need for it to come back to the stakeholders, okay. it can come back. Okay. But the beauty about policies is that you have to, after two, three years, we get to review them. Mm. So my principle about this music policy right now is let us uh, 
uh, have the music policy let's in get, place. Let's get started somewhere. Yes, somewhere. Yeah. And then we can always review it as, okay. we, as, we, go as we go along. Yes. You know, things are always changing. Technology is always changing. Mm. There's new media. So there will be definitely need to review it after two or three years. Yeah. I feel like that's one success story mm -hmm. of the PPMC, uh, you know, getting this music policy to this space. Mm -hmm. But are there other stories you, you, you can tell me of just stuff that the PPMC has been doing that we might not see as, you know, the public? Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, what are some of the things that, you know, we can share as success stories from the PPMC? There are many. Um, I, I hope you have the time. <laughs> Let, let's, let's pick one or two. But yeah, I do have time. Uh, music is my first love, so I do have time. Yeah, so we, we have a couple of success stories. Okay. Um, we, um, and I can align them to some of the mandates that we have. Okay. So when it comes to regulation and whatnot, the music policy has been what we've been pushing for. Yeah. Um, when it comes to talent development, we've been able to create spaces. We've been able to run talent development camps where we go to regions, Nakuru, Mombasa, Isiolo, and we stay there for three, four weeks, training the youth there mm, in music. Mm. We've been able to have great talents coming out of it. Um, today, some of the leading gospel artists, like someone like Evelyn Wanjiro, mm. is a product of our talent development camp. Oh, wow. okay. There are so many others out, yeah. out there yeah. who have come out of these processes. Mm. And that is already is still an ongoing program that we do mm. uh, from, from time to time, depending sometimes, of course, with uh, budgetary allocation, yes. sometimes with partnerships. Mm. There is a time we had partnership with UNICEF to run the program, mm. so we were able to train even more, more youth. Mm. So we've been doing this for the last 10 years, and uh, we are still going strong on it. Uh, we also, we've diversified also uh, in the element of uh, talent development as well, mm. where we provide free spaces uh, at, 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 the, at the commission. We also yeah, have I, a... How do you say, for practice and for, for practice, things like that? Yeah. The, it's I fully did, equipped. I, I All you need to do is available. just walk in. So session uh, artists can actually come and... Just walk in. Yeah. You don't even need to bring anything. From the guitars to the keyboard, everything is oh, there. Wow. Walk in, plug in, okay. book your time. If you, are, you, you have an eight to ten session, mm. book, come, practice... And, and walk away. I wish I knew this. And, and then when you're ready, it, yeah. when you're ready with your production, with mm. your work, with what you've been working on, we mm. then we have a, a set of the art studio as well oh, that's wow. available. Um, what we do now is we link you up with, we have many friends, yes. uh, producer friends yes. to PPMC mm. who we, we're able to talk to, to come and help produce your work, yeah. uh, mentor you also now into the music business, mm. uh, guide you on how you can uh, package your work and move you to the next level. So depending on the genre that you're, that you're working on, mm. we're able to guide the best producer on that line. And we, we have, you'll be amazing, uh, amazed by the number of people who are willing to support the youth. Wow. I have uh, many producers who've given their time to work with this uh, youth. Young and kids. I think I saw one of them seated here oh. by the name of Tim Rimbui. He's, oh, yes, he's, yes, yes. He's, he's, he's given his time to work with quite a number of youth okay. uh, through the PPMC program. All right. And even taken some of them to international festivals. Uh, yes, beyond. yes. We, so, we've had the brand team. Yes, we've yeah. had the brand innovator. <laughs> yeah. uh, so we're, we're able to link them with the industry. See, so yeah. the moment I give you someone who's already a success story in the industry to work with, then you, you have the trickle effect of their experience mm. coming down to this, to this youth. To this so that, that is uh, an area. We've also been trying to push Kenyan music to the international market. Mm -hmm. We've been able to sponsor quite a number of uh, artists to go out of the country mm. to represent the country in various festivals. Mm. Um, we've also been trying to bring international festivals here. Mm. If it wasn't for COVID, we were to have a very major festival in April oh, wow. uh, in conjunction with the Spanish government. Oh, wow. And uh, the result story, that, uh, the success story would have been a Kenyan band or two having a full sponsored summer tour uh, in Spain oh, and wow. performing in all the major festivals in Spain. And wow. they were going, were going to be paid for it wow. without spending a coin. Their ticket, their accommodation, their transport, everything taken care of. And all they needed to do is just to prepare themselves for it. Uh, the, the portal had been, has been open for a long time for mm -hmm. people to apply. Mm -hmm. uh, we've negotiated with the Spanish government because of this we are moving it to the next year, hoping okay. that things will have stabilized. Okay. We were planning also this year to bring uh, Midem, which is the, the, the largest global uh, music community wow. to Kenya in October for a, for, for a, for a, for a conference uh, and um, uh, showcasing of Kenyan music as well. Wow. This was to happen between the 1st of October to the 4th. Unfortunately, again, because of COVID, we may have been, yeah, to true. postpone this to next year. Wow. And so this is, that's what I'm saying, the, the bigger work for us is as we, there's the job of creating these talents, yeah. but the bigger job is for us to package them, to be able to help them monetize their, their talents and be able to make a living out of it. So there are some great success stories coming out, out, out of that and um, also great recognition of Kenyan music mm. uh, out of this, this country. So we are looking at marketing ourselves within our Kenyan uh, 
be a community borders, yeah. and also and beyond, outside, and okay. beyond our borders. Those well. are such good success stories. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing them. Mm -hmm. Next week, we'll actually be doing webinars mm -hmm. uh, about the creative economy and about monetizing mm -hmm. uh, the creative economy. And so, you know, I'm, I'd be happy to host someone from your office or even yourself uh, and, and come and actually give a, a little masterclass on, you know, some of the things that mm -hmm. artists can do to, to, to develop their talent. But let's get to this 100 million. Yes. that has been given mm -hmm. to musicians, actors, and artists. Uh, so you carry part of this mandate. Mm -hmm. Who are the people that you represent under PPMC? I know it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a almost stupid questions because <laughs> there's musicians, but let's yes. talk about who mm -hmm. they actually mm -hmm. are. So um, we represent all cutters of, uh, within the music industry. Yes. Right? So from musicians to dancers to DJs, I find it interesting that some people believe DJs are not musicians. They are musicians. They are, yeah. I mean, you, you, have, to, you have to feel the beat yeah, to get the beat. And that's true. <laughs> and we've had, we've had yeah. DJs that you know, crossed over into producers. Yes. We've had DJs yeah. who true. created mm. mashups and yeah. added value to a song. True. So you're yeah. right, they yeah. are musicians. Yeah, yeah. so the, or, or if, if you're within the music industry, then you belong to the commission. Okay. We, are, we, we are your link. We are, we are your, the, this is the department that takes care of you, okay. technically. Uh, just, yeah. I'm asking for mm. a friend. Yes. Flasher, mm -hmm. uh, are his <laughs> video vixens yes. included? Yes. They are. They are part of the production. They are part of the they production. They are part of the art. We can call them dancers. They are, <laughs> no, no, they are part of the art. They are part of the art. Yeah. <laughs> uh, they, 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 you know, they, in, the, in, the, in the, the role they play yes. has, is, um, is multidimensional, mm. right? <laughs> so they do dance. Yes. They but, do act. Yes. They they, they, uh, they 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 do contribute to the value yes, of the yes, of, yes, of the production. As a video, yes, yes. yes, yes so yes, the, right. I believe uh, I believe they belong to me as well. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, this this program with, with this number of artists is obviously the conversation, and uh, allow me to just go into it. Mm -hmm. There's a conversation on representation, mm -hmm. uh, where the you know the CMOs feel that they represent. Mm -hmm. uh, more of these people than you do. Mm -hmm. Who is best placed in terms of representation for these musicians? Um, I, I think, uh, like you said, we, we need to have that music business class. Yes, the, and, the master uh, class. The master class. Yes. And, and we talk need about to have the different roles and yes, the mandates. And we need to have the CMOs on it yes, as well so yes, that we yes. can continue the conversation. Yes. Um, but they only represent a section. Mm of the people that the commission represents, mm. or a section of the people in the music industry. Mm. And their representation are the people with copyright related mm. uh, uh, works, works yeah. that they represent. Mm. And even those people, they only represent those that have signed their, 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 what, their something called deeds of assignment mm. to them to be able to collect on their behalf. Mm. So you may find a Kenyan who has his music here, but has signed his deeds of assignment with an international body to collect for them, mm. all right? Which is different, yes. all right? So they cannot really say they represent the entire, the entire, the entire industry, industry okay. because we have people who do not record. Mm. The DJs are not in CMOs, yes. all right? The, the other, the live musicians, yes. right? Like I, I've, I've told you my story like about- the way you played like, in the hotel. Yes, I'm yeah. a musician, yeah. but I'm not a member of the CMO. Okay. Until today, I'm still not a member of the CMO. Wow. All right, okay. because I'm, I'm a live musician yes. and that's, that's what I make my living from. Mm. You call me, you're a recording artist, yes. I can come yes. do a session for you and that's, and that's, and that's it. Mm. Um, but if I do that, then I can as well, I, I can now join the performing uh, rights, rights yeah. uh, right? Yeah. Because now I'm part of that, I'm part of that production, yeah. okay? So there are people uh, who do not belong to that category, mm. but they do belong to the category of, they do represent musicians. Mm. But where sometimes also the, 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 the education needs to come in mm. is that their job is to collect and distribute. Mm. Let me give you uh, an, an analogy. Mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it's, not, it's not to demean what the CMOs do in any way. Yeah. It's just to give an just example. To paint a picture. To paint a picture, yeah. yes. exactly. I look at them as debt collectors. Okay. So you're a debt collector. I have given you uh, uh, the assignment to go collect mm. all the guys who owe me money mm. for using my content mm. or for using my works. Mm. So your work is to go collect, come back and give me back my money, mm. all right? Mm. So even some of the issues that musicians have with them is because I can't assign you to go collect and then I, the owner of the, of the, of the content, mm. uh, I feel like I'm not getting value yeah. for assigning you that, that mm. role. Mm. 
You see, if you, if you are to do the same thing with an auctioneer and the auctioneer goes away with all the money that he was to collect for you, you will not engage an auctioneer. Yes, all right? that's true. That's if, true. Uh, if you're an agent, you own apartments mm. and uh, you've, your work is to collect rent for the landlord and you're keeping more money than, mm. than, than what's going to the landlord, yeah. then there's a problem, yeah. right? Yeah. But that's a story for another day. We, okay? we, and we will that's wait a story for, for another day. day. Yeah. <laughs> but the, the whole idea is yeah. look at them as an agent. Okay. All right? And their job is to collect rent. Mm and give it to the mm. landlord, who's the musician, mm. all right? The, the rent is being collected from anybody who's using the landlord's mm. uh, property, property yes. all right? Yeah. And give it to this uh, musician who's the landlord. Mm. And uh, once they understand that, then they will understand that this 100 uh, million was not part of the rent. Mm. Oh, it's not owed to them. No, it's not owed to them. Yeah. And it's not, it's not rent collected yeah. from the works of their musicians. Yes. So I think that's where the disconnect was it, coming. It could be seen as an, as an investment. This is an investment. Into, by, into, into the landlord's life. Yes, and don't forget that it's the same government that gives them the license to, to collect mm. for, on behalf of the musicians. Mm. So this same government has, 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 has noticed that there are other people beyond the CMO uh, purview uh, mm. that also need to be supported. Mm. And these are the people that the government is saying, let's look at the whole picture and let's see how to support all these people. And that's why we have all these departments within the, the State Department of Culture and Heritage trying to address to the various uh, sectors, uh, to the best of our ability, trying to bring the entire creative economy mm. into the same space. I, I feel like that is so mm. well answered. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'm wondering, your Monday, you, you know, the musicians and the people in the music industry that you that you represent, especially for this particular stimulus program. Mm -hmm. What do you think your reach, how wide do you think your reach is going to be in terms of numbers? What's your reach in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of the borders uh, mm -hmm. within the country? Mm -hmm. uh, and what is your consideration as well for people living with disabilities and mm -hmm. uh, special interest groups? Okay. Um, first of all, being a government fund, uh, we are di directed by government policies. Mm. And uh, one of the major government policy is that we we must consider people living with disability okay. and uh, people, uh, the marginalized yes. and vulnerable uh, communities. Yes. So that is, they will definitely get 30% uh, out of the whatever allocation is given to whatever sector okay. across the, the entire 100 million. Mm -hmm. So they, they, have, they have space, mm. they have provision mm. for to be catered for yeah. and to be taken care of. Okay. So they, they should not feel uh, worried mm. Uh, mm. for any reason. Okay. They should just, once we, we, we provide the guidelines uh, for submissions, mm. they should just go ahead and, and, and do those submissions. If they have any challenges for uh, making those submissions, then we shall also provide platforms where they can be able to reach us and we can be able to uh, make the make it a lot easier for them to to access us. Okay. Yeah, but the the, the bigger of, reach. Yeah, in terms of the bigger reach, what, what are the, the bigger the, reach? What, what uh, are the, you know, in terms of musicians, you know, the people that are likely to touch this program. What what are what are you looking at? We we are hopeful that we will be able to touch uh, six thousand and above uh, musicians. Wow. Uh, through 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 this uh, stimulus. Uh, uh, project okay. and uh, I would like to also uh, maybe use the same words uh, my, my, my colleague uh, Frasher used mm. that it's a seed yes we want to plant a seed but we're also trying to be as creative as possible the numbers will be might be greater than that given the ripple effect for sure mm -hmm. so um, if I touch 6,000 musicians I'm also going to touch over six to provide that leadership to them and that mentorship you know sometimes an artist is, is uh, they, they prefer to listen to another artist. It's true. All right. Yeah. So we have a mechanism we've, that we've put in place when we are rolling out this program. We shall be working with the, with the same same industry to roll out the program mm. because also we want to make it to be as transparent as as possible and to have the maximum impact as as, as possible. Let's talk mm. about your process. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So are you going to do a call out? How how are you going to reach these six thousand plus artists? Mm -hmm. Uh, what, what, what's your, pro do they come to you? Do they write to you? Mm -hmm. do, they, do you send out a call out that mm -hmm. they create some marks? What's, what's your process for this particular stimulus program? Um, we'll do send a call out, and we'll send the call out in, uh, in two different ways. We'll send yeah. a, a general call out to a public yeah. uh, the pub, so that everyone can see yeah. the, the call out. Mm. We'll also send the call out to our networks. Okay. Um, we, uh, we have a portal. Mm -hmm. um, within uh, our website okay. uh, that um, has a, a population of almost uh, 
growing population to, to, of almost uh, 10,000 uh, musicians. Okay. All right. We have uh, over 8,000 of them who are already vetted and, uh, and uh, we, we can assure you they are musicians. Mm. We have some that are pending the vetting, uh, vetting process. process. Okay. And we've opened up the, uh, the website so that uh, anyone can, can be able to uh, log in mm -hmm. and, uh, and to confirm their, their details for those who are in, the, in, the, in our portal. Mm. And for those who, who are not in our portal, they have an opportunity to register okay. uh, as well. So we, we, we are not closing the doors to, to any creative uh, person. But one of the criteria we'll want to put into place is that because this is a cushion mm. to people who've been practicing in the industry, we need proof that you've been in the industry uh, uh, from last year. Okay. At least you've been practicing from, from January uh, yeah. last year okay. so that you can be able to uh, benefit from this process. If you began practicing this year, January, then probably you, you are not reached to the level where you qualify to be cushioned okay. because you're still under someone else's wings yes, yes. As, you, as you're trying to grow. Yeah. All right? So we we'll, we'll like to keep you there in those wings so for a while. if an artist is, a, is at least a year, mm. at, at least a, a, a year and a half a year and a half old yeah, in, the in, the in the industry, in the industry yeah. then they qualify yes, to be Yes, they qualify. Okay. So for example, the 8,000 that we have in our portal mm. already yeah. uh, already qualify because okay. they've been in our portal for a long time. A long time. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so that is one 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 approach. Mm -hmm. But we've also created initiatives within mm -hmm. the the projects mm -hmm. to be able to address as many um, uh, of the, the the genres within the, okay. the industry as possible. Okay. okay. So there are initiatives for the live musicians, mm -hmm. where we have initiatives where we work with the live bands to uh, uh, to perform mm -hmm. and uh, we we stream their we stream their their music their performances mm -hmm. we've had great partnerships we have a partnership with Kenya Cultural Center and the mm -hmm. National Theater here yes, yes. and uh, homeboys yes. with these uh, facilities mm -hmm. here we have partnership with this current setup with actually, the current setup right, yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. Uh, we have partnerships also with other uh, industry partners okay. extreme media has mm -hmm. come in oh, to fantastic. say uh, you can access our space mm -hmm. and we can also record and stream live any production that you may want Fantastic. which will uh, we use the spaces for both live bands mm. and for the DJs because mm. also we have a program for the for the DJs yes. so we have a program for the DJs we have a program for the live musicians mm. we have a program for the recording artists mm. where we will uh, roll out uh, production of songs and uh, and and jingles mm. and, and stuff and we have a pro uh, a, 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 a um, a program for the dancers, mm -hmm. both cultural dancers and uh, the, the contemporary dancers. Yes. And in this, sometimes it's good to explain. Mm -hmm. You see, go ahead, go when ahead. you go to Mombasa mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and Ukunda, mm -hmm. and uh, let's, let's just give an example of the coastal belt. Yes. Uh, in almost all those hotels, mm -hmm. there, are, there are groups, yes. both contemporary uh, dancers, uh, cultural dancers, yes. and acrobats yes. that perform there on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. and they make their living out of that, mm -hmm. all right? There is a Mogaka and Kamau who dresses like a Maasai. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they make a living uh, out I've of it. Always, they're, they're I've always thought they were Maasai. <laughs> they're creatives. <laughs> they're creatives. Yeah. All right? Yeah. And um, even, the, even the rare words, people thought they were, they were Maasai. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Uh, so they came to learn later. <laughs> they were not. Yeah. yeah. So they're, they're creatives. Yeah. And we need to uh, consider that they've also, they are, they're out of work mm. because the hotels have closed down. They've closed down. Yes. Right? So yes. we, we, we have a, ca a category for them as, as well. Okay. For the small a cappella groups mm. uh, that are also in the, in the industry commercially yes. making a living yes. out of out of their their, their, their music yes. will also qualify so we have about six initiatives that cut across okay. the the the, the and, and, and and when mm -hmm. when do you send out these guidelines we'll send when, when, when are you likely to send out these guidelines we we're actually waiting to have this discussion okay so that uh, we can also we, we like also listening to listen to the industry yes, yes all right yes, so yes. that we can have uh, as much collaboration and as as much impact yes. uh, to the programs as possible yes and we've had so many uh, sittings with some of the uh, sectors of the of the industry mm. so we intend to start the call uh, from monday from monday from monday okay and we've staggered it so that we don't do all the calls in one day and people get confused yes so on monday we'll do a call mm -hmm. and uh, we'll high, most likely start with a call for the for the djs mm -hmm. and then we'll we'll we'll, we'll move on okay. to the next call okay. um, uh, we'll, we start now staggering the live band musicians the recording artists it, and we start spreading the, the word uh, out we are also um, going to have a representation of the 47 counties okay so beyond the entire structure we are reaching out also to the 47 counties and we're also balancing out uh, with the strengths of the counties okay some counties are stronger in some areas yeah. uh, than others yes. so we are giving them that preference because we know there are some musicians in a particular cadre in that county that need help. Yes. So we are also bringing that wholesome uh, mm. uh, uh, work plan into place to be able to reach as many people as possible. That's very exciting. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. I think I think we the diversity of our nation 
when it comes to music has never really been tapped. Yes. Uh, and, and so, you know, the opportunity for that to happen in this project mm -hmm. is very exciting for me. Uh, so, what you said, you said this information will be out in the public. You said it will be on your website as mm -hmm. well, and I'm sure mm -hmm. your social media properties. Mm -hmm. what, what's your website? What's your social media properties? How can I go look for that on Monday when, I, when, when I'm looking for the information? Okay, for our website, it's uh, very easy. It's uh, www.ppmc.go.ke. Okay. Um, for, for, for the basic reasons of all government websites yes, are yes, .go.ke. Yes, .ke. .ke, so yes. if you forget that, just know it's government. So it's .go.ke, yeah. then it's ppmc. Okay. So ppmc.go.ke. Okay. For Instagram, we are uh, ppmc underscore Kenya. Okay. Uh, Twitter, uh, ppmc underscore Kenya. For Facebook, it's the full name, Permanent Presidential uh, Music, Music Commission. Commission. Okay. Yes. All right, so you know where you can find this information. He says that from Monday. And there's start. Culture TV. Uh, and then there's Culture TV, of yes, course. Yeah. And we'll be putting out uh, the, the, the call out also on our properties mm -hmm. with the Together at Home uh, banner that you'll be able to see. Uh, so from next week, the, you will be able to see the call outs from the Permanent uh, Presidential Music Commission telling us where, uh, what they need from the different genres and acts that uh, they cover. Mm -hmm. When is this money coming out? Um, just before we go to the money, <laughs> I can also maybe highlight that we, from the databases that we have, yeah. we shall send uh, mm -hmm. emails mm -hmm. to the databases that we oh, have okay. with a call out. Uh, and we you said this portal is available that I can actually go and yes, register. Yes. And then I'll go through a verification process. process. Okay. If you're, if you're registering afresh, you'll have a, a verification process that okay. we do. Okay. And what we've been doing with our verification process is we've been working with the industry players. Yes. To help us verify. Whether, whether this person uh, yeah, is a singer yeah, yes, 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 or, or a musician, he yes. plays this. So we use the networks that are there already in the system to help us verify those that are incoming so that we are, we are sure that we have the right uh, people. Mm. So uh, we have, with, the, with the people from the, the system, they receive that. They probably receive uh, also SMSs. Mm. And we're also sending them. Um, um, today, um, we've rolled out an email and we've rolled out bulk SMSs to all of them okay. to ask them to log in and confirm and confirm their details. Okay. You perhaps maybe have changed your telephone number. You perhaps uh, have changed your county of residence. Yeah. So we are asking them also to, 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 to log in and just ensure that the data that is there, so that when you're communicating to you, we are able to uh, reach you. If you've changed your primary uh, cell phone number, mm. then the SMS may go to a, a number that you hardly use. Mm. So we, we, we want them to go in and ensure that the data... N number and person. And they know the importance of doing yeah, that. So they, they, they will need to log in <laughs> and be able to uh, align align, yeah. uh, align that information. Yes. And uh, that will also help us. Okay. We understand that some people may not be able to access internet. Yes. So we are working on a USSD okay. uh, that uh, should be able to roll out by Monday. Yes. And oh, we shall... Wow. When we do the call out, we shall include the USSD, code, the so, USSD that, uh, code so, that so that some people can also register. Yeah. And uh, if, if they cannot go beyond that particular platform, as long as they give us their name, their ID number, and the telephone number, mm. we can call them from the office okay. and be able to engage them okay. and be able to register them as well. All right. Yes. That, mm -hmm. I, I, I am, to be honest, mm -hmm. impressed. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I really mean this. You know, the, the interface of the Permanent Presidential Music Commission mm -hmm. and, the, and the image of it for me mm -hmm. has always been the choirs that sing the same songs. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, from, from the days of Moi, you know, yes. growing up in the 80s and mm -hmm. the 90s. Uh, but seeing this, you know, evolution for me is quite encouraging and quite exciting. We still do. I know, I know you still do. We still do. And, we, and they're important. Like I said, like, like I said all, all of them are ours. <laughs> and they're important. But I, I think, you know, uh, well, I, well, I you. what, what yeah. I'm saying is that, you know, the diversity of it, mm -hmm. that it's not, it, does only, it doesn't only serve one purpose, but it actually serves the industry. True. For me, that's, uh, that, that, that's impressive to hear. So mm -hmm. let's talk about this money. I've asked mm -hmm. this question to everyone this week. Mm -hmm. Do you know when the, when the money is coming? You're doing a tokalini. Ah, yeah. So GAVA has processes, uh -huh. all right? So the, the fund, uh, we have to follow the process of accessing the fund from the fund. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the fund has approved mm -hmm. the money. Mm -hmm. We're in the process of transferring the money from the fund to the, to the ministry. Okay. All right. So when that, that is done, then the ministry will uh, transfer the money to the uh, sagas and state departments okay. so that they can be able to, to, be able to access that. Wow. So what we want to do is to encourage uh, the creators to start creating once we have the call. Mm. All right, and they start creating within. Let them not create before. Mm. Uh, there are so many people sending me um, uh, 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 songs and and, and 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 content that may not fit the call. Okay. 
All right, so my best request for them is wait for the call to come out so that you can align yourself to the call and then send us that content that's aligned to the call. And uh, if you had sent us the, the, the content, still look at the call, mm. see what you can tweak on the content that you are already sending us yeah. so that it can fit and you can, you can be able to access the, the, the benefits of the, of, of, of the fund. Right. So we do hope that sometime next week uh, the, the funds would have reached the ministry and the ministry would have uh, been, been able to. And remember also the transactions, they are, they are, they are, they are, they are bank transactions, central banks are transactions. It's, it's, it's a complicated uh, process. Okay. But sooner or later, uh, with the calls, it's an assurance. You know, yeah. uh, like Gava, they say you have the voucher. Uh, <laughs> there's a, a term procurement people use. I'm not yeah. a procurement person, yeah. but there's, there's a term they say when, once you have that document, uh -huh. you're as good as 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 as, as, as paid. As paid. As you've, right. you've had the money. So yes. once once you've given us your content, once you've vetted, and once you, we've the the team that's vetting, which I'll, I'll also make very clear will be a team that will be make, made of officers from the music commission okay. and people from the industry. Yes. All right. Yeah. Uh, who will vet the works? Mm. And once they have vetted the works, and they they'll get back to you. And tell you this is your this is the work, and you may think this is the uh, this is how you, you are going to plug in mm. into the fund, yeah. and then they'll work they'll work they'll work with the with the, the, with the, the journey with, with the you. journey with you. Okay. Yeah. Mm. So, I wanted to, and I've done this uh, every day with, uh, with the people that have sat on that chair. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, our responsibility is always to the generation that we that we are we are, we are building the the industry that we, we are representing. And, and I think our responsibility is always to inspire, mm -hmm. always to get people to build and do more than, than they're doing. Mm -hmm. If you had the opportunity to speak to the industry, this is your one minute speech to, to the young people, the young artists and musicians out there that are looking not just for this stimulus package, mm -hmm. but also just, you know, you, you want to, this is what you, you want to tell the industry. Mm -hmm. What would that be? That's your camera right there. Talk to them. Wow, nice. So for me, my best message to you, uh, musicians, is that uh, we have a, an amazing opportunity. One, because an, uh, it's an opportunity led by someone from the industry. Um, I'm one of you. I have grown up in the industry. I have uh, made my journey in the industry. So I understand you. I feel you. As the young musicians, uh, you need to really focus on your talent. You really need also to spend a lot of time learning about the industry and especially this, the subject of music business. Because if you, cannot, if you grow your talent and you cannot uh, be able to monetize it and put it uh, in, 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 a, in, a, in a structure that can help you to grow, then there will be a disconnect between your talent and the outcome of your talent. But we are here as the Permanent Presidential Music Commission to work with you, work with you, guide you, uh, be part of you, and be able to uh, grow the industry in this country together. So our doors are always open. Anytime you can reach us out, talk to us on our social media handles um, and pages, be able to uh, engage us, and uh, we'll be able to provide you the kind of uh, information and leadership that you need from this sector. And the last thing I would like to say, you've seen this from the, His Excellency, the President himself, that the government cares. The government cares about you as a creative, the government cares about you as a musician, and that's why we are even having this discussion, and that's why you're even listening to me today. So we are in this together. Pamoja, tutashinda. Thank you. Wow. Um, I, I, I have learned so much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you. Donald Otoyo, for sharing uh, that information. Thank you for sharing with us the work that you're doing. If you're a musician, you know the value of some of the things that he has said uh, I have been in, in the industry for a minute. I think one of the spaces that musicians are always looking for is just practice space. It's sure. one of the hardest things to find. Mm -hmm. uh, and I didn't even know that you, you had it right there mm -hmm. in my neighborhood. I would have uh, used it quite a bit. <laughs> so thank you for that. If, if you'll indulge me, mm -hmm. we may have one or two people in the room okay. that would, uh, would like to ask a question. I will give opportunity for a couple of questions that we can respond to, and then we can close the interview. So. Uh, I'm open to just taking a couple of questions. Uh, all right, so we have a hand here. Uh, at the corner, there's, there's a mic that will come to you. Uh, just please speak into the microphone and be loud. Introduce yourself, tell us who you are, and then you can ask your question. Yeah. Um, great. My name is Tony Mochama. I'm a journalist and an author um, and a friend of Big Ted. <laughs> no. Um, my question is this, eh? sometimes on TV, and uh, um, even my friend Amani sees this, eh? 
You see somebody winning, you know, they win maybe 10 million shillings, eh? And of course, they'll say, you know, we'll open a radio station, <laughs> we'll start a football team back in, you know, a village in uh, somewhere in Luya Land and so on, eh? So, I'm not being, a, I'm just being a journalist. Uh, my question is this. Um, you've mentioned something about helping 6,000 musicians. Mm -hmm. So I was doing some quick math. Like, for example, if, if you, you just handle, let's say, 30 million, because there are other people, mm -hmm. I mean, there are other departments. Mm -hmm. So I did a quick mental math, and I was thinking that's, you know, like 5,000 bob, you know, if, if you're being a true Democrat, uh, you know, a doctorate, mm -hmm. so wouldn't it make more sense, yeah, and I'm not suggesting that this is what you should do, to actually have a few, not mega projects that somebody's getting, you know, 30 people get a million shillings to do things, eh? but to have like perhaps just 600 out of, you know, your community of several thousand of projects that are actually like, uh, that can last and that have some quality and that will actually help people. Because, you know, if you are 50,000 or 500,000, you are much more likely to create, you know, true quality uh, but if you give 5,000 shillings, hiyo mtu atakula tu. Even if you can't, mtu anaeza kwa anamaliza. So I'm, act, I'm asking about that goodwill, your bona fide democratization to help all these numbers, but as opposed to the fundamental thing of creating good art and helping people who right now might not be able, as Frasha was telling us, to monetize because of, you know, this corona business. Thank you. All right, Tony, good question. Mm -hmm. uh, the numbers vis-a-vis -vis the investment and, 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 and its efficacy. Mm -hmm. uh, what, what, do you, what, what do you want to say to that? Well, it's, it's, it's a very good question. And um, the, the only uh, maybe disconnect with the question is that the assumption that the, 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 the distribution will be based on a, a, a particular platform there is, uh, we've, done, we've done a bit of uh, research into, into, the, into the various sectors of the country. Mm. Um, 5,000 may not make uh, a big difference to, to Tony, for example. But 5,000 will make a big difference to a DJ somewhere in the heart of, of Bungoma County mm. or in the heart of uh, Isiolo. Mm. Um, they, that, that's probably close to even what they make in, in two, three, four weeks, all right? Wow. So we've, 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 done, we've done the math and we've seen, we've seen it can actually touch as many lives. It's just that um, we may not be able to, it, it, if, if, I, if I gave a big group, uh, uh, like some of our top artists, mm. uh, 5,000 or 10,000 or even 50,000 shillings, they will not, they will not uh, take it, yeah. all right? Yeah. Uh, because it wouldn't make a, a difference to them. Mm. But that 50,000 shillings makes a very, very big difference to someone else, somewhere else, mm. all right? So we, we have created the program in such a way that there is going to be that kind of uh, interaction within the, 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 the projections okay. as well. Okay. But trust you me, even this in same Nairobi, there's a gig musician who, when he goes for a gig, gets his two, 3,000 shillings, all right? Um, look at it that you've given this person two gigs Mm. You know, he's, 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 uh, he's been able to rescue himself from two gigs. And those two gigs can actually put food for him on the table. But he has also done a production. A production that can go to another level of put, even putting more food for him on the table on a, long, mm. on a, on a, on a longer term. Mm. So they, they, they are, there's a way we've worked it out. Okay. We've also talked to, like I said, there are many people coming on board to help us mm. make this very easy to do make this uh, cost nothing, almost uh, zero cost to the, to the artist when they are pr producing this. So we are creating, we have those networks. The, um, even some of the DJs came and said, you know what, uh, I, even if you gave me 20,000 shillings, it won't, it won't make a big difference. Mm. But what we'll do is I will donate my 20,000 to some an other DJ somewhere else and be able to help him make the difference. So we are working also wow. with that kind of networking where the artists, we are, we, this is a call for all of us to come together and cushion the, 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 our, our fellow musicians. Okay. So we, we are also, as PPMC, when I'm saying 6,000, is because I know I have partners who are mm. coming to help us. Okay. I know there are people who have the same uh, feeling as government, the same feeling as the president, in terms of being able to cushion the, the industry. Okay. There are people making money, uh, who make big money from the industry, who are not, ex they are being affected by the current situation, but they are in a position to lend a hand, mm. all right? We're also talking to them to figure out how can you lend a hand 
Um, and, and it can be in kind. It doesn't have to cost them anything. Yeah. It can be in kind. Mm. Give us this space that you own in Mombasa so that the artists in Mombasa can come and uh, be able to uh, do their productions there. Mm -hmm. uh, give us this space you have in Kisumu so that we can be able to bring these groups there and be able to record. Mm -hmm. And some are saying, okay, on that particular day or two that these guys are coming to record, I will, I will see that I can take care of their, their, their tea and lunch or something like that. Oh, wow. So there are people coming in. Mm -hmm. And you'll be amazed by the, the support that's coming in from, from the sector. Okay. And my call is to, for all of us who are here, and my friend Tony and others, we can come together and make this even 10,000. All right. Okay. Uh, so I'm not looking at only the 30 million, but I'm looking as the commission. We are working very hard to bring in as many partners as possible into the process to make this even a better, uh, a, a better, um, to have even a better impact and a, a better outcome out so of the, it. The, the more the merrier. The, the, mo the more the merrier. Okay. Yes. I'll take. I'll take. Uh, there's a question there. Uh, actually, mine is not a question. Is that uh, an additive to the, to that? I think the the best example we can give for this is uh, about teach a man to fish and for the rest of his life he's set but give a man fish and uh, he becomes a slave to himself mm -hmm. and that's the one of the most important things about this project it's a work for pay whereby you keep on working uh, for this particular thing I think the, the, the time and element of uh, people and organizations giving out dishing out small up copious amounts of money to people to attend meetings for people to go and stand in places and hair call and do everything, I think it has gone. I think it's time that we're able to, especially as creatives, to honor our art and to honor our creativity by being able to work for it and to be able to bring some value into the whole thing. That uh, uh, the creative arts is not a shortcut to life. It's actually life for some of us. Mm. All right, thank you for that comment. Uh, I'll take one, one uh, okay. Because it's easier, and then we'll come back this way. I'll take one question there. Um, uh, thanks a lot for, for the interview. Mm -hmm. uh, what I wanted to comment on is uh, we've seen the government hand in assisting the artists. And uh, as you have said, uh, PPMC are getting partners. Mine is just to encourage more people who are in the industry and who benefit from the industry to help cushion uh, the, mu the musicians at this point. I think uh, there are people who do a lot of business with, with music and are not necessarily musicians. So my call is to anybody who benefits from, from music, maybe it's time to give back to the artists. Thank you. All right. Thank you, Frasha. Uh, we'll take one, one uh, uh, question from this end. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Ari, for that presentation. It was wonderful. Um, my name is Alamin Virani, um, audio video producer, uh, mainly from Nairobi, but there's a challenge we face for some of us who, who don't come from Nairobi. Um, my generation had to come here to look for work. Mm -hmm. Right now, people from Mombasa, from Kisumu and other places where I'm from are asking me on the phone, how do we register? Mm -hmm. Some of these people have even worked with PPMC, mm -hmm. and some of them are older and are not very digital savvy. Mm -hmm. Is there like uh, county offices or regional offices where they can go and get uh, information, uh, not soft copy, but mm -hmm. um, hard? Is, there a way to, is that the way to say it? just like hard information? Um, is there a way to access that under PPMC? Um, yes, we, we can roll out. We can ensure that uh, being part of the government process, we, we have a few offices uh, out, of, out of Nairobi, mm. um, but we can, um, if you share with us the, the communication with these people, it's very easy for government to use government mechanisms to reach out to these people. It's very easy for us, if they can tell us where they are located, we can email either the county commissioner, we can either email the deputy county commissioner, and the information can go down to the DO, to the, even to the chief, if there is need. So we, what we can do, our, we, we are, we, we, since we have the reach for the, for the musicians in the databases, those who are not in the databases, we, will, we are also using the, the, the regional uh, associations, their regional uh, setups to be able to access them. But um, we can take it a step, a step further and, uh, and try and also reach out to, to the, to the uh, national uh, government arms so that the information can be uh, available in the notice boards at the chief camps, at the DCs, and that's something that we can do as a ministry uh, very easily and as government, yeah. 
And uh, mm -hmm. I should also request my Culture TV team if we mm -hmm. can assist you mm -hmm. um, to, uh, to also get in touch with offline musicians who are maybe not tech savvy, who have yes. no access to digital mm -hmm. uh, networks, mm -hmm. um, and to also be able to bring them and connect with the system. Yes. Right. And we are also going to be running the USSD, like I said earlier on, that can also, once they, uh, with the USSD at Akabambe, you just need to, once you log in with your name and ID and telephone number, we are able to call you back and engage you and uh, get as much information from you. And then once we know where you are situated, we can now send the information to the nearest office, government office next to you. So we, um, please don't hesitate to send us those kind of requests as well, mm. so that we are able to reach as many people as possible. Thank you very much. All right, that's our time. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Donald Otoro, for your time. Mm -hmm. Thank you for you know, just breaking down your program for us. Uh, uh, just remind us the website where we can register. Remind us uh, just where we can get this information on your mm -hmm. social media pages. Mm -hmm. You said it was ppmc.go.ke. Yes. Uh, you said uh, uh, Instagram is ppmc. Underscore Kenya. Underscore Kenya. Um, Twitter is ppmc. PMC underscore Kenya as well. Okay. And uh, for Facebook, it's the full name, Permanent Presidential Music Commission. Okay. Right. And the call-outs will be coming out mm -hmm. from Monday, staggered to the different uh, genres. Yes. And the different type of artists that you cover. Tomorrow we speak to Dr. Lagat, who uh, will be representing the Department of Culture. If you have questions for us, go ahead and ask them, uh, and even for him, go ahead and ask them, and we will ask them, uh, we will in turn ask the different uh, heads of the sagas these questions. But then, thank you so much, Buanotoyo. I'm really grateful to thank you. you. Uh, this has been the Culture TV uh, fourth interview this week for the heads of different state agencies that will be implementing the 100 million stimulus package that was launched on Monday by CS uh, Amina Mohammed and you know, announced about a month ago by His Excellency, the President of Kenya. God bless you. Have a good weekend. My name is Amani. I'm a communicator and podcaster and your host for today. Thank you.